Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. All right, we're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored. And share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at Hookah Anonymous underscore. Alright, now let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, Honeycomb Brazy or somebody from Honeycomb Brazy's camp pretty much calling out the Prince family, Mob Ties, J Prince Jr. and them, and pretty much accusing them of not really being there for your boy Honeycomb Brazy while he's been incarcerated. Now, um, to be honest with you, we may be seeing the fall of the Prince family and their fear, you know, that whole fearful demeanor that they have around them. Um, there was a time where no one would even speak on these guys because of the fear, you know, the fearful aura around them. And now it seems like every other day someone is calling them out for something and people are paying very close attention to the Prince family these days, right? And in this case, we got Honeycomb Brazy. Now, on Honeycomb Brazy's Instagram, someone made a statement. Um, honest, uh, obviously, it wasn't Honeycomb Brazy, but it had to be somebody within a team because within the post, you can see that they said that he's not going to say it, but we're going to say what's up. All right. But anyway, we're going to get into what it said, and then we're going to talk about it after because I'm 50 50 on this. Um, I feel that I, I understand where they're coming from. Maybe they feel that uh, J. Prince Jr. and the Mob Ties, they forgot about Honeycomb Brazy. However, I got to remember that they got their own stuff going on as well. But anyway, we're going to get into it. Now, Honeycomb Brazy, somebody took to his Instagram story, his official account, and they said, quote, Mob Ties and rap a lot. Y'all handling my little brother like a real peon. After he put all his trust and loyalty within y'all, that's effed up. My little brother worked for everything he got after all he been through, shaking my head. Y'all wrong. He pumped that ish back up. He the reason ish start back heating up. He the reason Junior eating off that lame ad rapper. Due to he ain't got no, he ain't got to the reason, uh, whatever he meant. But he ain't got to the reason at I Hustle No Luck, eating off Risk Take Leap too. He been none but good to y'all and he been taking care of himself with his own money. Not y'all, my little brother, too solid. He ain't got to say none. I'ma say some. That ish ain't right at all. So anything else y'all do, it don't even matter. I know y'all next step already. I been told him what's, what was up, just like a million more people did. He just believe in keeping it real too much with people that ish. Don't get you nowhere, little bro, but you gonna be free soon. Make everybody regret. Don't trip. Just do you. I believe in you. Undeniable talent. Hashtag RN for life. And he mean real N word for life. Um, sidebar, y'all. When these guys be speaking or they put these posts up, you could tell <laughs> that they really don't know how to type or speak, man. I know y'all be sitting here like, dang, who could probably can't read? No, I promise you that's not the case. Um, these guys, when they be typing, you you can't understand half of the things they saying but anyway here's the thing nine times out of ten honeycomb brazy is talking to whoever put this post up and i guess behind the scenes they feel like you know maybe uh j prince jr and the mob ties they're not handling honeycomb brazy the right way they're probably not coming to see him probably not putting no money up pretty much leaving them for dead right that's probably the talks that honeycomb brazy is have honeycomb brazy is having with this individual but here's the thing, right? I'm 50-50 on that. I'm going to tell you why. Are they wrong for not checking in and, you know, not seeing how he's doing? Yeah. You know, however, they got their own things going on. You know, Finesse Two Times right now is pretty much uh, J. Prince Jr.'s main, like, artist investment. That's who's, you know, under him right now. He's tied up with that. Not to mention this whole takeoff situation that just, you know, transpired. It's a lot going on with that. Um, Mob Ties really got their hands full right now, and it's not looking too good for them, you know. So on top of that, they got the Honeycomb Brazy situation where he's calling them out for not checking up on them, not, you know, making sure he's good. I guess not visiting, putting any money on his books. Who knows? 
And for the people that's in the comments, they saying, oh, you know, everybody coming at rap a lot now. I mean, Mob Ties now and Jay Prince Jr. That's not the case. If y'all been paying attention, Honeycomb Brazy been kind of throwing slick sub uh, subliminals out there. So it's been a thing. It's not just because take off and or none of that. So, um, but like I said, he feels that at the end of the day, they not doing what they should be doing while he's locked up. I'm going to tell y'all right now, man. I see that they mentioned loyalty. You know, he mentioned loyalty and whatever the case may be. Y'all got to remember, a lot of times when uh, somebody signed an artist, all that loyalty stuff, that's hood stuff. That's street stuff. You know, when you get signed to somebody, they don't really have to do anything but what, they, what that contract says. Meaning that a lot of times you're just an opportunity. This is just business you know some of these guys take it a little further and they think it's more than just what it is nah i don't care how much people come in your face smile in your face bro you to death that's not always what it is nine times out of ten when somebody sign you they see something in you and it's usually an opportunity they see that you can make them some money it's business that's what it is don't expect them to go the extra mile for you because you think that they uh that, that that they cool with you or they your bros or whatever. Nah, man, don't get it misconstrued. At the end of the day, this is business. It's literally called the music business. The problem is people get the business part. You know, they they don't see that part. They just think it's music. But anybody that's been in that game would tell you it's probably ten percent music and ninety percent business. So. I think maybe um whoever it is on Honeycomb Brazy side, maybe they feel away. Um, and I get it. When you locked up, man, you start thinking about everything, you start thinking about everyone. You got time, you got nothing but time. So he probably just feeling away. He in his feelings. But I don't think that they should have did this publicly. You know? Because now when you put statements out there like that, now how do you expect them to respond? Now they liable to just drop him and forget him for real. You know, maybe Honeycomb Brazy and his, his camp don't care. Because at this point, they're like, we doing everything already. So whether they drop us or not, it's still going to be the same. And that's understandable. But now, how do you expect J. Prince Jr., Mob Ties, and them to respond to this? <laughs> they're not going to respond with, oh, oh yeah, I'm going to, nah. Nine times out of ten, they're going to say, all right, well, you feel like that? We wipe our hands with y'all. It is what it is. We don't want to deal with y'all no more or whatever. I don't know. But that's pretty much what it is, man. Um, Y'all jump in the comments. Let me know how y'all feel about this. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.